say I'm a leprechaun. Oh. And now, now, back to the Big Dumb Fun Show. Back on the Big Dumb Fun Show. You can check us out. We are online at BigDumbFunShow.com. But if you search around, you'll find us. We're on the MySpace. We're on the Facebook. We're on the Twitter. We even have the YouTube.com slash Big Dumb Fun Show. Finally did a couple of updates to our website via BigDumbFunShow.com that have been uh, just... Uh, just uh, took me forever to do. Uh, there was a spelling error in the ma- one of the main portions of of the show, and of course, you know, we're sending this show out to to you know radio stations all over the land that uh, are uh, that are or may not even know that they're interested in the show yet, and uh, and there's just a big ass spelling error. I put a I put a G. And, and I take full responsibility. And it's just been there for months. I put a G in the word internet. I don't know where G even makes its rounds. I don't know where its placement is. The in... G is is silent. That's right what I tried to do. No, it's That's not. That's what I tried. I the tried G to say it. The G is not that. silent. Like I'm inter- sorry. Internet or something like that. I don't know. It was awful. So uh, I took that G out of there, which was just uh, bugging the hell out of me, plus uh, fix some links. And then uh, very, very much soon, uh, we're going to get everything updated right now. <laughs> it's still showing Christmas. Well, which, that was which is a far, which is far a far cry of where we were showing it, which was like last March, right? So, <laughs> uh, but then like our next, August. my next big post. Well, that would save you having to do St. Patty's Day again. Yeah, this exactly. Year. Exactly. Yeah, I can just keep it on there. So, yeah. um, but our next big post is our is our prediction show, and I need to get that updated because I think somebody predicted that there's going to be a tsunami. I think maybe even Tony Treehole, somebody out there. Well, first of all, Tony Treehole's predicting Charlie Sheen. It was on his it was on his death watch. But that's a death watch. That's so a death watch. I don't necessarily think that... I don't know. I mean, his career is dead. Yeah. Well, no, but that's different. <laughs> Pretty close. That, a, a career death watch is but, uh, something th- that Venkman's been on. Somebody. <laughs> you have to have one to begin with. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, uh, somebody predicted that tsunami, so I need to figure out what's going on with Who that. Who that was. Uh, of course, like any other tsunami story, um, not a lot of animals hurt because, or I guess, uh, you know, domestic free-roaming animals that could get high ground. Yeah. Because they always they, they always find that high ground before the tsunami ever hits. I don't know what the deal is. They have like a sixth sense. They got some sort of a sixth sense like, to where. Hey, you know what? There's a there was an earthquake. I bet there's going to be no, a be- giant wave. Well, before the Here's earthquake, what it before is. anything, because anyone else could could deduce that an earthquake happens, the tsunami's going to hit. So as soon as that yeah. earthquake hit, me being a Japanese uh, man, I would have been like, let's go to high ground, you know? Because well, there's, I mean. It one act comes after the other. Yeah. Well, here's here's what it is. Animals have a real keen sense of smell, so somebody experienced the tsunami way out there in the middle of the ocean, like a bird. And they smelled that crap a long ways away and went, "We need to move." Oh, you're saying like yeah. like a bunch of uh, uh, fishermen <laughs> oh, yeah. crap their pants, exactly. like oh god, and then they, and they smelled went, it. Oh, right, let's we need to go. Ground. Let's go. This thing is good, smelling good. <laughs> no. uh, one thing we did learn about uh, about this whole thing, and we're learning new stuff every day. Apparently, a, a train totally lost. Have no idea where it's at. Uh, I'm sure it's you know I'm sure it's underwater somewhere, but they have no idea. Um, bodies being washed up, you know, by the thousands now. No death toll. Um, no official death toll. Uh, Twelve hundred was the count last. As of I heard. right now, yeah. but yes. no, we, we won't know for probably weeks. Probably, well, I mean, weeks probably will go. Oh, it may be longer. There than was that. a couple of guys I had read online that were, uh, you know, when the the earthquake warning everything happened, the tsunami's on its way. They decided they were in America, of course. They're not as smart as the Japanese. Yeah, they went down to the coast there in California. Oh. Because they want to take pictures of the tsunami. Yeah. They got some really oh, close on. ones because they got washed away. Oh, they did? Because no, I heard that the coast got hit a little bit. I didn't hear it was anything worth... Like, if you're that six, stupid to go, hey, ways. I'm going to go... Darwin. Yeah. I, yeah, I want to go down to the beach. Get a good shot. Yeah. You know? That's like, and hey, then, tornado. And then you're standing there, on. right, at the beach probably, and as that wave actually comes in, the water pulls back. Yeah. So you're like... What do you do? You're like, I, I, people, I'm not going to get a good out. shot here. Let's move. The water is moving away from us. Yeah, Let's get people, closer. I heard some people will go out and look for fish because, you know, the water pulls away so fast yeah, that there's, there's fish, fish flopping around. Yeah. And they'll run out there trying to get the fish. Yeah. And it's over, Johnny. And and uh, and well, the only person stupid enough that I know of right off the top of my head to go out and take a picture of a tsunami like that, uh, and I believe that you're thinking the same thing, Franklin P. Arena. And yes. May he rest in peace. Yes, I was getting ready to say that. Uh, so anyway, uh, the, the tsunami hit. Uh, we did learn that Japan is the most disaster-prepared country uh, in the world. They they have to be. They were right. ready for this. Of course, they get earthquakes and stuff all the time. I right. think they said they get eight a year, eight, you know, eight pretty sizable ones. Um, and just the earthquake hit, the tsunami hit, 
hours later, they're out fixing the roads. Like they're yeah. not e- they're not even emergency crews out there, you know, saving bodies because they they've got those. Forgot the locked door. Yeah, I guess we did. Apple Snap Jackson now joins us in talking about Japan a little bit and the the tsunami that uh, that just happened in. But they were out and about. Maybe that's and a they good were, place to put that G. They were getting <laughs> put the G in tsunami because there's a bunch of other letters in there that we don't pronounce. Uh, but they were out and about, like there's fixing the roads, letter. like the uh, the uh, <coughs> I guess the national, I guess what would be called the Ar- Army Corps of Engineers is what we would call them. Yeah. Uh, but they were out in full effect. The Japanese Corps out. of Engineers. Japanese Corps yeah. of Engineers. They were yeah. out, and uh, I mean, I guess they have plenty of people to do the job. But damn, they were out and about in full force. Apparently, a lot of them were text. Like after the earthquake happened, they text them. Who gets shovel? Alert. You dig? Yeah. Man, so, here's uh, on. Uh, I'm just looking here. Horrible. Google News. There, 17 minutes ago, posted up on the L.A. Times. A Japanese nuclear plant rocked by another explosion. Oh, oh no. man! See, this is what we got to worry build about. Another buildup of hydrogen gas caused yeah. another explosion, destroying the outer shell of a reactor at the quake damaged Fukushima. Because yeah, the radiation of there, we could have, yeah. have another Chernobyl. Yeah, well, they're talking. And J- Japan's not that big of a well, country. They're talking, this could take over the whole country. This they're talking awful. the radiation off of those reactors will be worse than the bombs that really, in yeah, World War Two. I was gonna say they yeah. they're kind of used to it, but that was a bad joke. That was That's a bad, a bad joke. joke. And we're, we're also <laughs> we're striking that from the record. Also, any Godzilla jokes? We're even That's though like the only war, the only I mean really. Even though Godzilla was made of radiation, and this could, you was could definitely it? pull the parallel. It, but it wasn't. It was an, uh, there was an earthquake <laughs> that got Godzilla, you know, resurrected. It released. Yeah, I know, but there was yeah. a, there was a, a, a some sort of. So a, I mean, that'll be like the next thing, right? It'll be like that would be next. Yeah, like he shows up because he didn't show up right away. It wasn't like earthquake Godzilla. It was like earthquake day later Godzilla. Yeah, well, you know, I gotta say right now, and I there love he is. the vibe in the studio with all four of us because it doesn't happen often. Yeah, I know. I like it. I was feeling that vibe. Plus, Mark gave me I'm one then, of these for later. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm glad you're here, Mark. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Glad that you're makes here one too. of us. So. so. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Did I do that Actually, on the air? Actually, I wasn't. You know, I'm having, I'm having some license issues, and I wasn't going to come. But then Whoops. Like, some very big entertainment news broke this weekend. So really? So we had to come. Yeah. So you can't skip my segment this No, week. we're not going it, to. It's all. We already look, know about Charlie. I prepped it out. Look at that. I prepped that you beast out. show prep I did some show prep. And I fixed the website. What? Pat me on the back. He took the G out of internet. Can so you believe we'll, that? We'll, we'll kind of wrap this up uh, because people are that. not tuning in to, to the Big Dumb Fun Show to hear news about Japan. Or oh, Brazil my. Or, or anything like that. Um, no, we can't say G. He took it out. All we can't say is that, oh, man, this is ridiculous. And if it would have happened to America, I don't know what we would have done. Because I think we're definitely a, a panicky society. We will be right back with the useless news plus sports. With Mark the Big Guy.